from Table Talk. <laughs> we talk about your topics using the hashtag Table Talk on Reddit, r slash source I'm Meg Turney. I'm Ellie Morgan. I'm Ross Everett. There's just that slight pause because I wasn't sure. So Which that was direction good, but, are we going? Oh yeah, so I just kind of waited know, for like a second. I'm just going to um, yield. Yeah, so we're going to go through your topics right now. Are you ready? Okay, Meg, sorry. Michelle Whalen says, what is your dream pet? It can be anything. Gosh, it can be anything? So we're talking like mythical? Like mythical creatures. Yeah. Dragon. You think a dragon? That'd be dragon. so cool. Khaleesi style? Care of. Khaleesi style. Like oh, she does a great a job. She has no problem taking yeah, care of those Yeah, but that's things. like her number one job. I mean, like, if you have to work, like, you can't put a dragon in dog care. I can put a dragon in dragon care. Yeah. I'm already making ha money hand over fist showing off my dragon nobody else has, so and I'm sure I can have a full-time dragon nanny. You're basically planning on just abandoning your pet. Yeah, you're already like Me? thinking oh, yeah, you're about like, how well, you're gonna. If you gotta go, it. then what are you gonna do with it? Well, yeah, but, well, like, in, in my situation, first of all, my dream pet belongs to someone else, and I just get to <laughs> like yeah, play with it, and then not feed it. Yours is a Tamagotchi or a Tamagotchi? <laughs> no, but, oh, did I tell you guys about when I lost my Tamagotchi? Yeah, and I cried. No. I cried. I was maybe older than I should. I think been. you're tearing up right now. Really? Uh, well, <laughs> guys, this is getting real. This is the first time talk. I've kind of rehashed it in a very um, long time. Since therapy. No, I, we were we were on a family vacation, and I had cheated to get that Tamagotchi to be 32 years old by setting the clock to 11:59, waiting a minute, and then doing that repeatedly. You guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah. And I was doing a tumble in the sand. Um, and it fell out of my pocket. And then we went to dinner and I realized that I didn't have my Tamagotchi. I felt like I lost a child. We went back to the spot on the beach where I left it. it was, like, honestly, if we could have at the time, I would have texted everybody those annoying Amber Alerts because my Tamagotchi <laughs> was mean, gone. I mean, they should be more liberal with the Amber Alerts, right? frankly. Yeah, I asked I myself the other day and I was like, can we, we have a system, this is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Where are my car keys? Yeah. yeah. Um, so mine would be, I think that when you decide on what kind of pet you want, what you're basically deciding is what do you want to be loved by, which yeah. I think, so I think mm -hmm. a dragon is a good one because dragons are fearful and it, it, having a dragon love you, like, you know, dragons love Khaleesi, whatever. That'd be cool. M for me, I think something like aquatic and giant would be really cool. I think like, oh, like a dolphin. Narwhal. Or what about yeah, like something an like orca? That. Or an orca, yeah, something. I wouldn't Careful want anything, blackfish. I wouldn't want anything to accidentally uh, kill yeah. you. Yeah. Accidentally come right because like manatees in Florida you can go swim with manatees, but sometimes they can be known to be like, oh, I love you so much, and then roll over and then they'll crush you and you'll die. Really? Oh my yeah. gosh, I didn't know that. I love sea cows. They're so sweet. They're so they sweet. Look it's so cute. First total well, unintentional bear that's hug. That's their word. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't please don't. That's offensive. Yeah. I like so yeah, it. I think something aquatic I'd go with. I don't think I, I don't think I'd go mythical because you're you're thinking from a capitalist point of view like I can make money by like showing look I got a freaking dragon here. I would want to like have like the private moments of my dolphin being like. And I'm like, I know you love me more than anybody else, so we'll, we'll go right. Well, and I'm okay that... being third loved as long as it means I don't have to take on the brunt of the work. <laughs> I, hey, you know? I don't think the dragon like it's. I don't approach it from a capitalist perspective. Only when I'm asked how I'm yeah. going to take care of it. When you're pressed into a corner, you're like, yeah. listen, like, I'll okay, work it fine, out. Well, I think you're going. You're going to Japan. Well, I guess you don't need to leave your dragon anywhere. You could fly. Fly. On yeah. I mean that you don't have to leave it in dragon First care. First class ticket. It'll I guess my dragon Fuji. care business is over before it even started. <laughs> <laughs> My dragon would guys. fuck up dog daycare. It would eat all the dogs. Yeah. It would be like, oh, this food kennel? Okay. Yeah, great. Uh, oh, here we go. All right, Blue Clown five six two thousand over on the Reddit dot com slash 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 fire says, uh, "Would you rather not ever be able to laugh again or never orgasm again? You will still be able to feel all sensations leading up to both." Hmm. That is like the worst scenario I think I've ever been put into. The worst would you rather? Is that the worst yeah. one? Like yeah. all the gross ones like take a back seat to this one? Yeah, well this is hard because those are two things that I love very much and if they were like, hey, you can only do these two things or nothing else, I would probably choose that option, but to choose between them. I'm gonna go never laugh again because you can yeah. still giggle or like. Oh, no, oh, I would you? Okay. Yeah. You that totally feel does. You can choose like... not to laugh and, and still orgasm? Yeah. I mean, here's the thing, though. The, you'll still be able to feel all sensations leading up to both is a bit of a, a problem because uh, the sensations leading up to both for laughter, 
That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking like they mean like belly laugh and like the giggle and like sputter up to that. You can still totally feel and you can feel joy and happiness. You just can't have like that one of like the tears running down your face kind right. of laughter. I and I could live with some giggles if well, I got to have fun. The other problem times. there for guys is that we've never been like, oh man, I'm blue lunged right now. I really need to laugh at something. Right. Like the leading up to it point is where it's yeah. Well, but as a lady, yeah. I mean, uh, every lady's experienced the like, oh, it's gonna happen. Oh, not gonna happen. There's some women Great. that never yeah. work. So let's never let's never make that an option. I've never done either. <laughs> so if I had to choose, it doesn't matter. Well, your manager is thrilled with that response. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what if you it had? To, what if you always <laughs> had to do <laughs> one with the other? Like then every great. time you laugh, I would you love that. Sometimes I do. Are you kidding? I have. I, I mean, sometimes you're just having a ball, you know, in so many ways. Oh! Oh! God! It was so good. Okay, I got it. I'm there. I hope uh-huh. you satisfied that. I hope so is everybody satisfied. trying to throw at the camera now? Yeah. yeah. I haven't been on table talking in about a year, so here we go. Oh! oh look at that. So good. This one comes from uh, the Reddit. It's uh, iToy, or eToy70, who says, Who was the most influential cartoon character of your childhood? Uh, Calvin and Hobbes. Okay. Uh, I guess comics count, right? I mean, they're cartoons, aren't they? They're not yeah. moving, but I think yeah. they, they still count. Gosh, that, that you know, there is so much that still holds up from Calvin and Hobbes. Yeah. I, in oh, fact, yeah. most oh, of it yeah. is is written for an adult audience, but yet caters to like yeah. killed a children's audience. I love the mm-hmm. Ed, Ed, and Eddie in terms of like animated, and then Hey Arnold actually would probably hey very close. My mom very solid. loved mm-hmm. Arnold. You know, I read the other day. I don't know where I read it, so forgive me, whoever I'm unintentionally stealing this from. But Hey Arnold ended very dramatically, like in a like a like a like did a con- Grandpa die? Or it something? was a con. No, it uh, ended abruptly. Like it was a contract problem yeah. between oh, Nickelodeon really? and its creator. And, and they so- were supposed to have a movie. Oh yeah, yeah. And then it never mm-hmm. happened and to like tie up all the it. loose ends, mm-hmm. and they were like, wow. "Well, the movie's never gonna happen." So. so it's just all fizzles out. It's very sad. You know what's fun? Dan ah, Castellaneta, the voice of Homer Simpson, did the voice of Grandpa on uh, oh. a lot of like the Simpsons voice actors. Voice are, actors are fantastic. Yeah. That's yeah. a dying art form. I wish that like, I, and people say this all the time, but I'm gonna reiterate it. Okay, I wish that cartoons were voiced by actual voice actors and not by like. Ben Affleck or somebody and they make the face look like you know whoever like I, I wish it, we could get back to like the uh, Mel uh, what's his Blanc. name Block thank you yeah yeah. My well the kids on Hey Arnold were also voiced by kids yeah That's Helga right. was the same girl all the way through but they had five or six Arnolds really? because their voice would change and they'd have to get a new Arnold uh. I had a, a, a teacher when I was younger. I remember that. You're right. I always remember hearing the differences Every, like, and being like, what's going like, on? Yeah. Huh. So w- about voice changing for, for voice actors, uh, I had a teacher when I was growing up who, t- who told us that when he was a kid, he was the voice of Peppermint Patty on the Peanuts cartoon. Oh! Like, uh, and I was like, but you're a guy. And he's like, yeah, my voice was like really high. So Crazy. I played, played a girl. That's fine. I mean, granted, like the probably lesbian girl mm-hmm. out of all of them, but like... Sir. Yeah. Sir, that's what she says. She calls everybody sir. Oh no, that's Marcy. Oh, Marcy. Yeah, you. The other you, Marcy is Peppermint Patty's lesbian lover. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. The the heavily suggested le- lesbian lover. Sometimes uh, there are so many like references to things that I don't see that I, I I literally think in my past if I was raised in like a basement, like I can't remember. I'm like I don't know any of these. I would never watched that. Ever. Charlie Brown. Yeah. No, no Charlie Brown Christmas. Ever. No Great Pumpkin. I did Charlie Brown Christmas and no, 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 Great no, no, Pumpkin, no, 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 no. and then I never did again. Oh, it um, never got to me. Like I, I never really connected. I liked Woodstock and Snoopy. That relationship. Yeah, was fun. that's a good relationship. Uh, my friend is a professional voice actress, and I feel you on the hiring Ben Affleck or whoever. Yeah, to play things I don't know why I was like, referencing Ben. You know, I was thinking about Ben Affleck and Batman recently. That's a totally different tangent. Yeah, yeah. but like to see her be like, oh, we're casting this new voice role, blah 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 blah, and then she's like. Well, the lead is going to be Shirley Theron. Yeah. and I'm like, what? Well, like, you're so talented, and like, all your friends are so talented. And I don't get Why? like, I don't get the appeal anymore. There are certain actors that it made sense for Tim Allen and Tom Hanks. Their personalities were infused and all that. But like now, it's like I'm not going to go see because they're giving it to Shirley right. Theron or something. Like I want to hear like a goof guy who's like being like voicing multiple. Well, you guys know what was that movie? Uh, Miley Cyrus was in it. It was. It was not. It was. It wasn't Turbo. It was about the dog Bolt. 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 There was a hamster in that movie, and like uh, apparently, they they do like a, a riff track beforehand, where like someone from the staff will voice all the characters, and then the celebrities will come in and overdub it with theirs. But they loved this guy's voice so much; he just like was working on the movie that they're like, you know what, like we're keeping you in the movie. And this this guy That's that cool. was working in post production at whatever that studio was, DreamWorks or Pixar, because no one else does it. Uh, it 
got to be like this little cute little comic relief that's neat. voice. Yeah, that's awesome. Sometimes. I don't know if he's ever worked again, but that was a cool moment. This is a very cool. Mo Should we do two at the same time? Hey, ah! hey, guys! I'm st all right. I'm getting away. No, all come right. on. There it is. Man, I just I just clicked in. Okay, cool. Hey guys, welcome to Table Talk. All right. There you go. <laughs> Killed it. All right. Uh, Doogly Doll says, if you could provide modern technology to anyone in the past, who would it be? Anybody in the past? Nicholas Tesla. Modern technology. Uh, that was yeah, when Nicholas, I put this Nikola in. Nicholas, Nikola Tesla, boy. You're that fucked. was really close. Uh, it's okay, I corrected myself. When I was putting these in the bowl, that was who I thought of. Nikola Tesla? Yeah. yeah it was, uh, it's just one of those things where it's like, listen, man, like, you don't know this yet, but Edison's gonna bone you yeah. hard. Hey, here's a bunch of other stuff that could be yours. What's good, Keep what's a good bunch one? of yeah. elephants away from that dude, because he's gonna almanac. fuck one. Uh, Did he didn't fuck one, but he killed it. He electrocuted an elephant to prove That's that cool. um, Tesla's AC current was more dangerous than his DC current. Whoa. The other way around. What are your other hands? Same thing? It's the same thing. That's pretty cool. PlayStation nails. Huh. But anyway, yes, he electrocuted an elephant that had already like stomped on some people, but I mean it was an elephant, so those people deserved it. I think whoever was responsible for the industrial revolution, if we could go back and like maybe give them some technology. Eli that Whitney and the cotton gin? From... Eli Whitney and the cotton gin. Can we stop that for crying out loud? Stop that? You wanna give something else? <laughs> yeah. No, oh, you want, want like no like mechanized textiles, that yes. kind of thing? Yeah, the cotton gin is probably your first you're gonna want to nip that in the bud for sure. I'd probably also go back in time and give Steve Jobs the technology of Apple so that we can kind of keep on the current timeline because I think that's what happened. Oh. <laughs> you think you did it Someone, specifically? It could have been me. Boy, if that was me, I should have also gone back and told me to make some wise investments. Yep, and you didn't, and yeah. here you are. Uh, <laughs> what if you gave somebody the technology in a bad way? Like, what if you went back and gave Hitler, like, a ray gun that shot him in the face and killed him instantly? Wait, that you mean like, like a, justice? A weird like it's like a weird thing that he'd be Nathan. like, oh, how does this work? There was and an episode of Futurama was... where they gave people guns that were bent backwards and they shot and it just shot him right in the right? face. Right? Yeah. That's, that's like know. Ultra Futurama Looney knows Tunes. what's up. I know. That's the great. Oh man, can we talk about Looney Tunes? Can we go back yeah, to cartoons? Yeah, yeah. Looney Tunes? Um, so you ever see the racist Looney Tunes cartoons? Yeah. 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 Like right, the propaganda. The Wait, hold on. Why are you heavy on this? Because I. I they did this whole thing where they had to like apologize for it, and it's just like I don't know. It, it's they did this whole intro when they released the DVD set. Where Whoopi Goldberg did like kind of the speech for the. It was years and years and years ago, and I just remember like being weirded out. By they the included idea. those cartoons on the DVD box. Set. A lot of them still had sort of the connotations. I don't know how racist you're talking. It's about. a these snapshot are, are of the like, time. Right, like, they, that's exactly. what it is. Like, that's what we're saying. I think that's why it's heavy. Like it's not right, but that's how yeah. people were then. So why censor the art that was made exactly. then? Yeah. So that's anyway. But it, again, tan fun tangents here. Ah. All, again, cartoons. <laughs> uh, so uh, when six met nine. It was messy. That's funny. You're doing it wrong. Uh, <laughs> bro. Um, so it over on Reddit said, messy. Have you ever had a serious conversation about the validity about something on a kid's show, i.e. how something on Dora the Explorer couldn't happen even with a kid? Dude, I will crush dreams about with cartoons. I'll, we're back to cartoons! Yeah, again, yeah, it's all yeah. cartoons! Um, um, I think a lot of people who enjoy things that are easy to get in California and harder to get in other places do this on a daily basis. I bet I, this is probably what that person was Marijuana doing on this particular day. This is what we were referencing. Enjoying California. I thought you meant smog. <laughs> it's hard to, you know, I love it. I just got to move out to California. It's hard to get smog anywhere yeah, else. It's so hard. So wait, wait hold on, before you do California. this, can you reiterate the question? Yeah, it's, could you, Have like, you ever explained, or explained away something in a cartoon like Dorothy Never. Explorer? Never. I would try, like, probably try and justify it to a kid, just to preserve their innocence for a little while. Wow, we're terrible people. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I'll be like, that couldn't happen. Yeah, yeah. no. Yeah. See, that's the Just, thing is, uh, Dora would get eaten by that weasel, and he would swipe everything in her pack, and he would bite her and give her rabies. Also, the idea of being friends with a monkey is something that we shouldn't trust, because monkeys can kill people on a dime. There yeah, absolutely. There was a woman absolutely. that had her face torn off by a chimpanzee, Dora. Stay away. And she was their friend for years you before guys, they tore her face off. You guys are really traumatizing people. Animals, here's the thing, animals are wild. People always, like, you can't just domesticate them, and it's, because people are always like, like, we'll have this debate with Trisha. She'll be like, well, if the dog, you know, the dog will eat you. Yeah, of course the dog will eventually eat you if you die and you're the only food source. That happens because they're animals. People do that too. Yeah, we would do it to the dog. And I wouldn't. I would. I mean, it's yeah. if, if we got hungry enough, yeah, yeah. And I'd be like, all right, well, if it's me or... Mm, my, nope. Mm, can't. You can't even it's say It's you it. and mm. not a dog that's not Gilligan. The other dog has to go. Well, no, yeah, but exactly. I think, like, even if it's, like, your wife, if it's a live or die situation, I feel like, I mean, like, clearly you start with the legs and something that's not, like... Yeah. 
like gonna deform their face or the parts of them that you recognize to be them. No, you don't want to hurt their brand. Yeah, <laughs> the, <laughs> that's the money. Just in case, this is this the, is the money. money face. Yeah, uh, but yeah, like I think it's it's if we get down to survival, we're all very animalistic. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely, Donner Party style. Yeah. What here's the thing about the the dilemma I would have is Penny is not a viable food source. Yeah. She's five you, pounds. You'd, get through, you'd be like, well, this is literally just as temporary as possible. It's the yeah. same with Gilligan. Gilligan's got, like, I can't eat his fur. Like, he's a fluffy thing. Yeah. So. We would just both be like, Fuck. I'm sorry I know, that I yeah. put you guys in the place by saying that, thinking about consuming your beloved animals. I'm going to go home tonight and be like, who's going to be my food source? Oh, my God. Else. Awful. Guys, thanks for table talk. Would you eat your pet? Let us know in the comments down below. What would they taste like? What, what sauce would you dress them up what with? What would that pet be? Would it be a dolphin or a dragon or somebody else's pet that and, you might eat? And the third question that we asked. Mm-hmm. And while you're down there uh, answering that third question, which can be whatever you want, just it has to be a third answer, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, make sure you come back for more table talk. Oh, and this annotation that just popped up in front of us. You guys can totally click on that and see all your daily doses of goodness. Yeah, okay. guys. You can also submit your topics using the hashtag Table Talk on Twitter or on r slash SourceFed. I'm Meg Turney. Wow, that was really good. I'm Ellie Morgan. I'm Ross Everett.